the night. Yeah, and that was him on that play. Does a re really good job on that draw play, disengaging from the offensive line and making that play. On the run, Plumley dumps it off, completes the pass to Bowser out of the backfield for a first down. Play action underneath. On the outside, that is a catch and a run for Javon Baker, transfer from Alabama. With John Rice Plumley and his mobility, that they could gain a few first downs with his legs, just like this right here on his zone read. Plumley pulled it on the fake to Bowser, able to get outside and move the chains for a first down. The junior from Lamar, South Carolina, with a the stop there in the backfield. You see why he had so many tackles for loss a year ago. Another third down. Plumley in trouble. Gets away. Now he's going to run it across the 30. Down to the 25. Still on his feet. Down to the 10. Almost to the five-yard line. That's what John Rice Plumley can do for you at quarterback. 100%. And we talked to Gus about that, right? Third down conversions. He was saying with the mobility of John Rice Plumley, he's hoping he could gain some right there. The defensive line wants a twist game. Offensive line doesn't pick it up. But John Rice Plumley says, I'll do it myself. Gets out to the right. No contain. And then great block on the edge by Ryan O'Keefe. 28-yard run. To see some sloppy football, but he still wants his team to execute. First and goal now from the 12. Fake to Bowser. Throw into the end zone. Touchdown, UCF. That is Javon Baker, the junior from Atlanta. The transfer from Alabama with his first touchdown catch is a UCF night. Yeah, great play design right there by Gus Malzahn. You got the RPO action. You fake the zone play, right? But you see the corner is off on Javon Baker, so he runs a quick slant. All that space. Moultrie gives him too much space there. Easy pitch and catch. John Rice Plumley to the new weapon on the outside, Javon Baker. Yes. Really good job by Kamori Gamble right there. He's in the slot. He's a guy that's athletic. We talked to Coach, Coach Malzahn about him. He said as the season goes on, he's going to get a bigger and bigger package because that's the type of athlete he is right there. They're in man coverage. Nice pass by John Rice Plumley right there on the wheel route. He gets wide open, and John Rice Plumley, Plumley hit a guy that, that is so versatile. He can play in the slot, can play safety, can play corner. He does it all for UCF. Plumley looking to throw on first down, takes a shot down the middle of the field, and that ball is caught. What a catch that time. Ryan O'Keefe hauls it in. Plumley quick throw, and that is complete. And a conversion on fourth down. This one's a quick hitch route, comes up, turns his head around, and John Rice Plumley hits him. Lumley pulls it on a read option and gets to the outside. Pushed out of bounds at the 17. Nine and four a season ago, undefeated at home. Lumley pulls it, and he's got a little bit of room. Gets across the 10, stays on his feet all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, a 17-yard touchdown run for Plumley, and UCF leads it 20 to nothing. Wow, what effort from John Rice Plumley right there. Simple zone replay, right? Patrick Galbo, he, cry, he crashes down off the edge. B.J. Davis actually makes it around the corner. You see him right here in open space. Misses the tackle. Then there's three or four other guys. John Rice Plumley. I would not be denied. I am getting to the end zone. So now first and 15 from the 47. Plumley keeps it. He's going to run it. It's across the 40. Yeah, he had the opportunity on the RPO right here to really hit Ryan O'Keefe in the flat, but decides to keep the ball again. One guy's not bringing this guy down. Not only showing you to be ruled eligible immediately, may have ended up being a good thing in terms of football development. Tunnel screen there and a big play. It's another first down for UCF. He can run defensive ends by and also block and stay in front of him. Lovely. Hit after the slot. Richardson motions into the backfield. Plumley pulls. He'll keep it across the 15. Good enough for a first down. We just didn't try to kill him in camp, and he's as fresh as he's ever been coming into the start of the season. Yeah, when you got a guy that's you know used to getting 30 plus carries a game, you know you want to take care of him. You want to make sure he's fresh when game time. And the ball at their own 46. Plumley quick pass to Bowser out of the backfield. He tracks his way across midfield down to the. Play action. Plumley dumps it off. Bowser out of the backfield. Decides to cut it inside and he gets down to the 37. A 
and had 44 catches at Auburn last season. Plumley, flush from the pocket, throws, and he's got a wide open receiver. It's caught by Gamble. Big. Plumley keeps it. Bounces to the outside, gets the first down, and steps out at the 18. I mean, just a better after to him. He's able to get the edge again and get a first down. Empty backfield as Richardson goes in motion, catches it out of the backfield. He's got some space. 10 5 touchdown, Johnny Richardson. Right there, Brandon Tucker, and there's a wide open B gap for Johnny Richardson, and he gets 15 yards on that first down run. Ryan O'Keefe made the first man miss and was able to turn that into a positive play. Plumley found some space and takes off. It's down near the 40-yard line. Or when you're a smaller Division I school, FBS school. I think it's a player down. Pump fake looks toward the end zone. Wide open. That's touchdown pass number four of the night for Plumley. Zach Marsh Wojan with his first touchdown catch.